What if I told you there's an organization where magic, mysticism, and personal transformation are intertwined, and yet its deepest secrets cannot be expressed in words? In this video, we're unraveling the purpose and the mysteries of Ordo Templi Orientis, an organization dedicated to the teachings of Thelema. From hidden rituals to life-changing initiations, stick around to the end to learn how OTO can transform your experience of yourself and your life. If you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, please consider supporting me through Patreon. I will leave the link to Patreon in the description for this video. Now let's dive into the secret teachings of OTO. Ordo Templi Orientis, or OTO, is a Thelemic religious organization. This means that there is no way to understand OTO without also understanding Thelema. I've covered the essence of Thelema in more than one video at this point, so if you haven't seen those videos, please go check them out. But in a nutshell, Thelema is the idea that each of us is, at our core, an immortal god. And that liberation in this life means aligning your finite or mortal self with your infinite or divine self and uniting your personal will with the true or the divine will. OTO represents a particular distinct way of realizing this essence. It realizes it in a way which is communal and worldly and religious, as opposed to simply personal or mystical. It can be a little bit tricky understanding the purpose of OTO. The purpose of OTO changed somewhat over Crowley's time, and it has also changed a little bit since Crowley's death. But by the time Crowley took over the OTO in the 1920s, he distilled it down to three main objectives. And these are still the three main purposes of OTO today. They are, one, to instruct the individual on the profound mysteries of birth, life, and death so that they may discover their true will. Two, to serve as a model for an ideal thalamic society. And three, to safeguard and communicate its secret of magic. This last one, which is also called the secret of the ninth degree, did not originate with Crowley. Technically, this means that the secret is not thalamic. However, Crowley had a tendency to Crowleyize, so to speak, all of the things that he picked up and the secret of Thelema is probably no exception. OTO realizes these three objectives through its two component rites, EGC and MMM. EGC stands for Ecclesia Gnostica Catholica, or Gnostic Catholic Church. It is an ecclesiastical rite or a religious rite. A religious rite is a public rite. Its purpose is to form a religious community. It's meant to bring people together to encounter a common religious truth through a common set of symbols. The main activity of EGC is the celebration of Liber 15, Ecclesiae Neostiae Catholice Canomise, or the Gnostic Mass. Liber 15 is a highly textured, symbolic ritual that admits of many different interpretations. That being said, Crowley was clear about why he created the ritual and what it was supposed to accomplish. The purpose of the Gnostic Mass, he said, was to allow a community of worshipers to interact with the truths of the universe as he understood them. It's meant to form and sustain a religious community who believes that existence is pure joy, who value strength, courage, and beauty, and who are committed to growing through a lived experience of their own divinity. That's the glue that's supposed to hold the Thelemic religious community together. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about the Gnostic Mass, there are three chapters on the Gnostic Mass in my book, Erotic Liberation, containing lectures that I gave between the years 2018 and 2023 Erotic Liberation contains some of my most profound insights into Thelema. The book contains introductory essays on Thelema, True Will, and Magic. But it also contains essays which, to my knowledge at least, no other author has dealt with. For example, it deals with art, beauty, vulnerability, and spiritual crisis. If you're interested in the unique angle that I present Thelema from in these videos, you would probably love Erotic Liberation. I will leave links to order it in the description of this video. Now let's dive back into OTO. The other component right of OTO is MMM, which stands for Mysteria Mystica Maxima. This is Latin for greatest mystical mysteries. MMM is OTO's initiatory right. Generally speaking, an initiatory right is not public. It's private and it's secret. And it's not focused on a community, it's focused on the individual. As I mentioned earlier, OTO has three main purposes. To teach the individual about the profound mysteries of birth, life, and death to discover their true will. 
to model a, an ideal thalamic society, and to communicate the secret. The initiations of OTO work on all three of these purposes. One of the main themes of the initiation rituals of OTO is that every event of our lives, including our birth and our death, are expressions of the divine will to explore being. So one way of looking at the initiations is that they are teaching you how to recognize your own divinity in every experience. Another theme of the initiations is self-discipline. This involves structuring your relationship with yourself, with the world, and with other people so that these experiences can express your divinity. From a thalamic perspective, social relationships have to balance mutual aid with respect for one's own and one another's autonomy. They have to balance strength and courage with solidarity and respect. They have to balance the joy of existence with not simply using other people for their resources. A lot of these values are embedded in the initiations, which are not just teaching you mystical secrets, but which are testing to see if you are fit to be part of a thalamic society. And then there's another dimension which has to do with teaching profound secrets of nature. There's this misconception that OTO teaches techniques of sexual magic, that the seventh degree has to do with sexual abstinence, and the eighth degree has to do with magical masturbation, and the ninth degree is magical heterosexual intercourse, and the eleventh degree is magical homosexual intercourse, and the tenth degree is I don't know, I think that's the furry degree. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. In fact, the secret of OTO is incommunicable. There is a theoretical expression of it and there's a practical expression of it, but the core of it is something that cannot be completely exhausted in words or in any practice. The secret is as much sexual mysticism as it is magic. So whatever you have heard about the secret, at most, it can only be partially true. The purpose of the initiation rituals is not so much to communicate the secret to the candidate, but rather to lead the candidate on a journey of personal growth so that they will eventually realize what the secret is on this internal, more mystical level. It's not unlike Thelema itself. There is a core of Thelema that does not change, but which can be expressed outwardly through how people choose to live and the kinds of spirituality that they practice. The secret is a little bit like that. The purpose of OTO is not to eventually show you how to decode all of these symbols to finally recognize that everything's a penis. It's about personal development that comes through a relationship to truth through a particular symbol set which involves sexuality. Male and female are an important symbol set in OTO. If you respond well to male and female as religious symbols, then OTO could be a good fit for you. If for whatever reason you don't resonate well with that dichotomy, then it might be hard to generate a religious experience in the context of OTO. In summary, OTO represents a particular way of interacting with the truths of Thelema. To understand OTO, you need to understand Thelema. But to really appreciate OTO and to enjoy personal growth in it, you have to resonate with its symbol set and how those symbols show up in its initiatory and religious rights. Additionally, you have to resonate with its social agenda. If you're not in OTO, does this make you interested to learn more? And if you are in OTO, does this match your experience? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to want to check out this other video as well. Until next time, love is the law, love under will.